Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm talking a little quiet right now because I don't want to accidentally set this off. This device you see up here is a sound sensor or a, a sound trigger. And what we have here is a piezo, piezo type speaker. And if this detects a sound, it's going to play a tune. Oops. Okay. So, here it is, and it's really simple. We just got an Arduino Uno, but you could use any Arduino you want. The sound sensor gets power and ground, and, it, you know, it's labeled. So you can see how it goes together. We have output, ground, VCC. And then my piezo has one end in ground. The other end goes to a digital six, and the sound sensor goes to digital three. Those are our only connections. Now let's go take a look at the code. All right, here we are looking at the code for the sound trigger play a tune. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell it what pins things are attached to. We have input pin called pin 3 and output pin called pin 6. You could make these any pins you want. Just make sure the output pin is a, a PWM pin, the one with the tilde on it, because it is going to be driven at different frequencies. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up some defines for the notes. So we have notes from B0 all the way up to D8. Okay. And then next to each one of them, we have a frequency. That is the frequency of the note. So here you can see A4, A440, that's called concert pitch. Um, in any large band or orchestra, this is how you tune your instruments to A440. So standard tuning here for musical notes. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to create an array. And the array is going to tell us what order to play the note. So you see we have G4, 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 E4, A4, A4. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. But it's just telling you what order to play the notes. And then we have another array down here that tells you the uh, durations for the notes between 4 and 8 in these ones. So now that we set everything up, we can come down even further here and we can take a look at our setup. So pin mode input, pin input. Pretty simple, right? Pin mode, output pin, output. Keeping with our keep it simple, stupid theme. And then we're going to make sure that our output is initially off. So we're going to say digital right, output pin low. We don't want the thing to play as soon as you turn it on. So now we're going to wait for a low signal on pin three. We're going to say while digital read of input pin is high. So nothing happens. And then we're going to check it every 10 milliseconds. And if it's low, we are going to play the Imperial March. See, up here where we have our while, right here, curly brackets, that's where it ends. So while the pin is high, it's just going to keep going here, going, is there anything there? Is there anything there? No. Okay. When it's not, it's going to play the Imperial March. So we have another section here titled Imperial March, and it will iterate through the melody and play each note. So it says for I equals zero. I less than the size of Imperial March divided by size of uh, integer, and then we'll increment it. Note duration is a thousand. Tone, we're going to say output pin, Imperial March, which note, how long. And then we're going to pause between the notes. And that's really it. It goes back and it waits again when it's done playing. So that's really it, guys. There's nothing else to it. Uh oh. It's pretty simple. Two connections, three components, a little bit of code. There's a link down below for the paste bin where you can go to get this code if you want it. And that's about all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out of here. Peace.